I like Missouri. I think they've been playing great football. I think this is uh, good for the SEC, obviously, to continue to add depth. Give me the Tigers, M-I-Z-Z-O-U. Playing in the SEC is hard. I played in the SEC, so I, I like your little jab over there, but I'm letting you know playing <laughs> in the SEC is hard, going out there every day, matching up, but I got to go with Tennessee. Tennessee has a high flyer. So offense. we got the same pick, though. But you, okay, no, saying, they, they I didn't like hard. what you I didn't like what that you said. How you got there. I didn't like how you got there, how you navigated to get there. <laughs> they, they, they did something else with Georgia, and then you got there. But. Yeah. <laughs> Missouri should have beat Georgia last week. Oh. Coach, they did not say Ohio. <laughs> Coach, you might. Missouri versus Tennessee. Let me tell you why he just said that. You know who he picked last week in that game? Who? Missouri. Yes, I picked Missouri. Oh, That's why yeah. he said that. Come on, yeah. man. You yeah, got to keep yeah. up with my man. That's what I'm, I'm going Tennessee. This is, this is a tricky game. Missouri is a good football team, but I'm going to pick Tennessee. All right, what about Michigan, Penn State? We followed the story all morning. No Harbaugh on the sideline. We went to, yeah, we did a breakdown of both teams. I just think that Michigan's offensive uh, explosiveness is going to take over late in the game, so I like Michigan in this game. I think we're going to learn a lot, obviously, about both teams, but I think Michigan against anybody today is a Wolverine day. Give me the Michigan Wolverines. Well, I'm just... I'm just going to go off ballot here. I don't really like Michigan. Played them in the Orange Bowl, and I just had to throw that in there. We did go down there and beat y'all, and we did make our way to our first natty. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But I'm going to still go with Michigan. Oh, we appreciate that, brother. We appreciate that. Michigan has won 34 of the last 37 games. And they win without Harbaugh, and they keep winning without him. They don't win. I don't care who's the coach, well, Michigan. When I saw Michigan get on the plane and said Michigan against everybody, and then you saw the tweets about Bet, and the team is incredibly bonded. It's a mature veteran team. They're going to be able to handle this. They're going to use the outside noise as motivation to them. A very close competitive game, but they're going to take care of business. And then the game tonight here between the hedges. Ole Miss needs major help to get to the SEC championship game, but if they win, They've really enhanced their college football playoff resume. But nobody's won here in four years, and nobody's beaten the dogs anywhere in 26 games. Let's hear it. I want you to say that. It's the kind of atmosphere you look for, night, college game day atmosphere. It's what you prepare for. Georgia's time national champ for a reason. We get the opposing team's best each and every week, but they're going to get our best as well. We still remain hungry. We know they have good players, but we have good players as well. I'm not going in there scared. It takes a lot to be able to go back to back, but it's not something that we look at all the time. we got to focus on what's important now. It must be calm in the storm. We know we're going to play that's going to be loud and rowdy. You know that clock is zero. We'll see who the better team is. No pick from Herb Street. He's calling the game and taking pictures of Aga. Who wins the game? I tell you what, impressed with Georgia a week ago going up against Missouri. I like the way Carson Beck is starting to just, to me, he's the guy who's in rhythm offensively. Now he has an identity. I'm going with the Georgia Bulldogs tonight. Yeah. Now you're trying to get on my good side. Oh, yeah. Desmond, you like was trying to get on my good side now. Okay, I like that. I got a chance to experience Athens a little bit last night, and although there was uh, there was a few older white ladies that told me <laughs> I did not deserve to wear the G they on my chest, they told and me. they said yeah, I needed to get out of Chuck's Seafood Restaurant. This so is David did. Pollock's town. I so told her right back to her face, I want to let you know, you th you can say and think whatever you want about me. I love this Georgia Bulldogs team. That's what I want to hear. That's exactly what I want to hear. I love what Athens is. I love that all you got to say is, what's that coming down the track? What's that coming down the track? It's the mean machine in the red and black. It's the mean machine in the red and black. Nothing finer in the land. Ain't nothing finer in the land. And a drunk, obnoxious Georgia fan. <laughs> that says we are the drunk obnoxious fans and any place that barks at everybody when they see them that's a town for me i got the bulldogs winning big today yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. now listen this this coach coach smart 
I played, I played under him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And people heard about all the pregame speeches and oh, all yeah. of that. Oh, yeah. But when you hear it live, yeah. he'll make you want to run through a brick wall. Wow. I'm not, wow. I'm not giving a pick. Everybody know who I'm going with. Yeah. That's why y'all brought me here. Obviously, I'm going with Georgia yeah. and let's go dogs. But I'm letting you know, Coach Smart gonna have those DBs flying around. Okay. He gonna have send all type of exotic blitzes that everyone knows about. Yeah, yeah. And we gonna play the game like you said, up front in the box. And I hope it rains. I hope it comes down and it's <laughs> a mud bowl and it's nasty. And cause everyone's loving it. Yeah. Hey, great, great job. job. Great, great job. job. <laughs> hey. You want him up here, the big fella? Uh, hey, who's that dog? Oh, oh, big oh, fella. Oh, here he is. Hi. Big dog. Oh. Hey. 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 Kill him, my hey, boy. Hey, <laughs> Listen. Hey, hey, hey. I know I picked against Georgia last week. He did. And I've offered, I've offered, I've offered, offered called you ugly. Uh. <laughs> I think the dog is still ugly. Oh, oh no. come on, look at that face. Right here. But when he win 26 in a row, you better look at every week you can. But I'm telling you, when I look at him now, this dog is ugly. But he's more gorgeous now than ever. I'm going with Georgia. Georgia! <laughs> so, buddy. There he is. That's what I'm talking about, Beautiful Coach. Dog. Boom, I'll go 11 there. Great morning here, Nolan Smith. Thanks very much for being with us. Happy Veterans Day to everybody. Enjoy your day of football. And where in the world are we going to find Jordan Rodgers? <laughs>